Hey guys and welcome to episode 10 of Multiplayer Mondays. This week's most highly requested car was the McLaren MP431. Now this car is at a tuning of 9010, which is a very odd tuning, but it was a tuning that I did when I won this car from its event. And I haven't used the car since, apart from one subscriber request Saturday's episode. Anyway, as I was looking through the comments from last week's episode to see which car I was going to use for this week, a lot of people said that this car was the Skid King, which is probably what I'm going to title this video. But I don't remember it being that bad. I know a lot of people were complaining, but since then, I can't remember if the car used to skid that much. But um, I guess I found out in this episode where I didn't come across a lot of skid, it was more a lot of random bobs. Speaking of which, there are three races in this episode. Now I try and pick the shortest tracks because one, the tuning of this car isn't that great. So I'll be coming across a lot of Apollo Intenses as expected and you could see that at the start of this race I already saw two Apollo Intenses and there are a whole load of other cars as well. Now because this car is quite slow I was hoping for one of the guys to crash and that's exactly what happened so lucky for me I was able to grab third place but because of the level, the rank of this car because of its odd tuning I lost a lot of points as the Apollo Intenses were multiplayer tuned and of course I'm not going to stand a chance against them so if you're going to use this car in multiplayer I highly suggest you max pro it but even then it's not easy because it requires a lot of custom racing engines. Now let's touch upon the next point, so I've talked about its speed, it's only great when it's max pro, now let's talk about the nitro duration which is just awful, again I get knocked down at the start by a color intensor but let's see if we can catch him up, so yeah, the nitro duration isn't that great, you'll see I'm, sk I'm not skidding, I'm drifting a lot or wiggling as we call it in our community just to get nitro, so I'm doing that a lot of the time during the races, yes I'm playing single tank but even if I was playing with an extra tank I'm pretty sure I would have to uh, wiggle to gain nitro because this lap was two, sorry, this race was two laps as well. But this is a very bad corner. So again, I lose out on some speed and the guys get ahead of me even further. So it's even more difficult to catch them up. So now you'll see over here, I come across a bit of a glitch, this bump right over here. That was not because of my controlling. I don't know what happened over there but uh, even then i still managed to control the car and try and catch these two i think they are apollo intenses in front of me but we will see how well this car can do the drifting of this car seems to be very sensitive as well so you'll see a lot of the times i'm trying to micro drift the corners because the handling seems to be quite sharp and also bear in mind that it's a long car so when you try and drift around corners you have to be careful because you can easily hit walls a lot more often than you would with any other car that you normally race with. So I guess to make the most use out of this car you want to choose shortest tracks as possible as you will be able to handle the corners very well and of course acceleration is decent so I guess this car stands the best chance in the shortest tracks and again a very very bad corner. Anyway, to those of you who don't have this car, I advise you to keep it that way. Save your resources for the next King, which is the 2018 McLaren X2 that is going to be released in this update. So save your S-Class parts, your, of course your custom racing engines because it's going to require a large number, which is 68 custom racing engines to fully tune that car. Uh, remember, of course, there are no such thing as max upgrades in these F1 cars. So uh, bear that in mind, keep your credits stocked up as well as we already know that that car is going to be the next king. If you don't know already then I can confirm that yes that car does beat the Apollo Intensa Emotion and on most of the tracks I guess Tokyo is the track where it's the most closest between the two but other than that, that car is definitely the new king and the only way I know that is because I've seen some of those videos that um, people have released regarding that car going against uh, the Apollo Intenses in all the other tracks. So then final race on Barcelona you see I come across a load of different cars which I wasn't expecting. We saw a Ferrari FXX Evolution, um, we saw a Lotus, I think there was a Koenigsegg as well. So a lot of different cars, I guess that's because of the rank of this car. 
but um, I don't think that's normally possible when you max pro this car you won't come across cars like that it's I guess it's just a, a bit of a luck I guess you can say but even then you see in front of me is a Apollo Intensa you're not going to stand any chance against those cars if I haven't made that clear already then yeah let me spell it out for you that you are not going to win against that car unless the driver is really awful and he just continues to wreck all the time. Well I guess that's everything I need to say for this episode. This seems to be quite short, only three races but uh, even then I guess I was just waffling on about a whole load of different stuff. So I hope you enjoyed this episode anyway uh, regardless of the awful commentary but even then take care and I'll speak to you guys next week. Remember that we are moving on to D-Class next week so comment any D-Class car that you'd like me to use. Take care and I'll speak to you later. Bye. Put the place up, yeah we know what we made of Can't get enough of you boo, I'm a chaser Face up, now I feel a little major Blink of an eye, ego I'm a taker Shaker, yeah she was a born shaker She shake me out that door to no place Damn, why you doing all that? Thought she was my wife but you stabbed me in the back Something like a rose when we came out there We settled facts like Da Vinci I'm breaking codes so breaking backs